Hello and welcome to our daily devotion from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Adam Moline. A blessed and happy All Saints Day to you. Today is All Saints Day when we celebrate God keeping His promises to sinners like you and me, saving them from sin, death, and the devil, and granting them eternal life in God's kingdom. And we also look forward to the promise that is yet to come, that on the last day of this world, when Jesus returns, he will bring this world to its end and he will resurrect us to live body and soul together with him, world without end. Our gospel lesson for today, All Saints Day, comes from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 5. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the poor in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you, for falsely, against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dear friends of Christ, the Beatitudes, words of Jesus that speak blessings upon Christians like you and me. You are blessed. Blessed in Jesus Christ. Blessed, though your life may have its challenges, difficulties, and struggles. Blessed, because you have been baptized into Jesus. Because you have been given the robe of Christ's righteousness that covers all of your sin. You are blessed because you already partake in heaven, here in God's house. You are blessed because you eat the wedding feast of the Lamb from His kingdom, which comes down to you, bread and wine, that is truly God, Jesus Christ's body and blood, in, with, and under it. Blessed are you who hear the word of God and keep it. Blessed are you, dear Christian. I know that when we look around this world, it doesn't always feel like we are blessed. Sometimes we hear things about our lives, our medical status, our family and friends. We feel like God's blessing has been taken away from us. But dear Christian, that is not the case. You are victorious in Jesus Christ. He has even overcome death and the grave for you. And because He has, you will live forever. On All Saints Day, we think back upon all of our beloved family and friends who have died in the Christian faith, who have received the blessing of God in its fullness, who now see Christ with their own eyes. Oh, what great joy. We think about these who have died in the faith and are now with Christ because we know that's where we are going also. That's God's promise to us. Jesus has fulfilled it for them, and one day he will fulfill it for you and for me. We are blessed because of Jesus. And that changes our entire life, doesn't it? We no longer are afraid of what's going on in the world. What's the worst that could happen? You die? 
Jesus has already undone death for you. You are blessed. Blessed in Jesus. You're free then in this blessing to love the people around you, to care for those whom God has placed in your life. You're free to be Christian, to live as a Christian, to seek a life apart from sin because you are blessed by Jesus Christ. One day, here at church, your name will be read, a bell will be tolled, and your family and friends will think back on how God has fulfilled his promises in you. How God, even though you appear to be dead, has promised you life. And how God will raise your body from the grave to be alive forever. You are blessed. Blessed in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen.